I grew up in a very small town in Bulgaria. My best friend, um, Nikolai, uh, you know, he just started playing soccer and he said, you know, why don't you come play with us? I was uh, really into music because I'm coming from a family of musicians. I was playing piano and uh, going to lessons, but um, I started going to trainings without telling my mom. So I was, uh, I was kind of going to trainings for one month and I wasn't uh, going to uh, piano lessons. And she found out later that, uh, you know, for a month I wasn't visiting my piano lessons. At 17, I, I signed my first contract. georgie has got a lot of experience. Uh, he's played uh, you know, in Eastern Europe for his, uh, uh, some big teams in Bulgaria. I really needed uh, a change. Um, and just like the Rallys was the team that really showed me that they really wanted me. My first thing I remember about Georgie is when he came out to the training grounds, we were still at Schimberg. And I just thought to myself, there is no way that we're going to be able to get a player like this to come play for us. <laughs> I mean, it was it was embarrassing. The training, the pitch was terrible. We were in a, you know, basically a trailer, showering off in hoses after training. Yeah, it was rough. Um, I'm not going to lie. I remember thinking the next year, I can't believe I talked this guy into coming because it just wasn't the improvement we thought was going to happen. But looking back now, wow, three years later, I'm so glad he came. What a, what a great player and I'm glad he listened to me. I was just about to have my daughter then. I came here, um, you know, I was on my own and my wife was back in Bulgaria, she was pregnant. I wasn't with them when my daughter was born and they came later. So it was a, it was a tough choice, but, but I don't regret anything that I've done. I'm happy that I stay here. Bill Edwards came on board and now it's, it's all a different story. I remember my first game, it was, a, it was a home game against Carolina and um, I think I almost got uh, knocked out by some of their defenders. It was a very, very tough game. San Filippo with a header, Ristoff gets ahead on it. Down he goes, foul! Our second game uh, was away with San Antonio, this is when I scored my first goal. Hannigan on his line. Hannigan guesses left, but able to squeeze it right past him. Rallies have a two goal lead. Three and a half years to play 100 games is uh, it's not easy. Georgie on Wednesday night had number 100 at Minnesota. 100 appearances is 100 appearances, so my hat's, hat's off to him. Hopefully one day I can, I can achieve that. Incredible accomplishment. Like I said, he did it twice as fast as me. It's incredible. Um, I don't belong in the same class as Georgie. Uh, he's absolutely, he's just a, a level above. It gives me confidence because uh, it means that, you know, you don't have just one coach who likes you, but then another one comes and, you know, he doesn't like you and then you see them bench. He's been humble since he's got here. Um, nothing's really changed in his game, you know, maybe his hairstyles. <laughs> That's about it. Georgie has a lot of tattoos, so he's a man with a, with a lot of stories. He thinks he's a tough guy, but he's not a tough guy. He's really a softy inside. Very fortunate to have met Georgie here stuff. I'll be happy to have a hundred more games with the Rallys, of course. I'm very delighted that I am still, you know, with this team.